Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop, and today I'm going to give you a quick review on the new E3D Super Volcano, which is an extruder for a 3D printer. And I thought I'd show a comparison because I haven't really been able to find anything else online. So here we got the uh, original E3D V6 with the little tiny nozzle, and then here is the Volcano with slightly bigger nozzle and then we have the super volcano which is like over twice the length of the volcano the previous ones were made out of aluminum the heat sinks but the new super volcano is a nickel plated copper heat sink which is pretty sweet it's actually a lot heavier than um, it looks which I was a little concerned because all three of these use the same heat break to, to attach, uh, but I have it printing right now and it, it actually feels stronger than it looks because it, it looked very fragile but it, it feels like it'll hold out pretty well. And then over here I have the uh, heater cartridges. I can't remember if the V6 used the same cartridge as the Volcano, but this is the Volcano one here. And then the Super Volcano, or yeah the Super Volcano is slightly bigger diameter also. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Volcano and then the Super Volcano versus the E3D V6 and then same with the nozzle sizes. But yeah, I have a 1.2 version running in my custom printers right now. And this is the very first print I've, I'm doing, so there is some gaps in the infill. I just need to tweak probably the flow rate or the, um, the height of the first layer. But what's sweet is you can see I'm using a, a Titan extruder with a little tiny pancake stepper motor. And I was concerned that I would have to step up to a larger motor, but this one seems to have enough torque to handle the high speeds. And you can see it hasn't started to shred filament or anything. So it can be putting out more plastic than it is. But that's a uh, 1.2 millimeter nozzle. And I'm printing at 70 millimeters a second. 0.6 millimeter layer height. Which I might actually go down to uh, 0.5 or maybe even 0.4 just to give it a little more uh, bonding strength. But uh, with the normal Volcano, this specific print was about two and a half hours with my current profile. And changing the settings over to, 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 uh, to this, the print time is one hour, which is pretty impressive. So once I you know can dial it in more to make the, the result a little better, but it's, it certainly can do a lot more output than the Volcano. I've never seen a spool move so fast before, which is for sure. It's like a lot of plastic being pulled in, which I wish people would make like larger spools, you know, cheaper, because the ones I've found are way more expensive than just buying individual spools for the same weight, which kind of sucks still. With extruders like this, we definitely need that now. Uh, but yeah, so if anyone who's, who was curious, the, uh, the Titan, which is a 3 to 1 gear ratio, meaning the stepper motor has to spin three times as fast as the drive gear. Stepper motors lose torque at higher RPM, but this hasn't skipped steps yet. So it, you know, a little tiny pancake motor will work with the, the uh, Titan, it looks like. Which is nice because the, the heat block adds a lot of weight. So being able to still use a pancake motor keeps the print head weight down. Which is sweet for sure. One other thing to mention is I custom installed a third thermistor up above the heatsink. It's installed right 
approximately right about here, touching the, the top of the aluminum heatsink. And I, I tricked the firmware into thinking that I'm running two extruders, so it's using this as a safety cutoff. So if this temperature gets too high, that probably means my cooling fan died. So it will you know, stop the print and save the upper end from damage. But I was worried that the super volcano would be too much heat. But it's actually lower than the normal volcano because of the fact that the entire print head is like over an inch higher up away from the, the hot bed. So the whole print head is actually staying cooler with the super volcano, which is like really awesome. It's a lot less, you know, uh, thermal stress on all the uh, print head components. But yeah, let me know in the comments and stuff what you guys think. Are you guys going to buy a super volcano? Um, the, the only thing that kind of sucks is they, they go all the way down to a 0.8, or actually I think 0.6 but they don't go down to a 0.4 which like I know you can't push that much plastic through a 0.4 but they really should make this in a 0.4 just because if I need to print something with 0.4 you know I'm, I'm not going to be able to swap out the heat block without taking the entire print head apart which I'm simply not going to do so that means I need to to keep another printer not a super volcano, you know, to still be able to print with a point four, which which sucks. Um, hopefully they'll come out with a point four. But yeah, let me know any other comments and stuff, um, what you guys think, and thanks for watching.